Well, good morning, my friends. This guy over here, my co-pilot's a little tired this morning because it always takes a little bit out of him when he gets his nails cut. And we had to go to a groomer this morning to get his nails cut, so he's sleeping it off. We are headed to South Carolina, and we are, uh, we're going to Bishopsville. We had a great meal there at the, uh, the place dedicated to the Lizard Man, but there's a amazing museum in town. Everybody there told me to check out and I just didn't have time. We're gonna check it out today. Days with Jordan the Lion and the old sleepyhead over here. It begins right now. Yeah, we're gonna start our day at Harry and Harry 2 because, you know, I come through here every once in a while and about half the time they're open because they're one of those weird places that they're not open on weekends. So I'll come through and I'll be all excited. I'll go, oh, that's right, they're not open on the weekend. So it's a weekday and I want to stop in. Just giving you a little taste of the road drive today. We are almost there. You look tired again. Not only the home of the lizard man, but also the hometown of Doc Blanchard. 1945 Heisman Trophy winner. Three time All American. They have a statue to him here in town also. Here's the first stop and the must stop of Bishopsville is home of the lizard man, Harry and Harry 2. This restaurant is amazing, but you notice they have the lizard man here. It's because the people that own this restaurant, I believe, owned the property where the lizard man situation happened. So they kind of memorialize it here inside the restaurant. But you can tell he thinks the food's good, so. Just know, Monday through Friday lunch, Thursday and Friday nights, that's it. No weekends. If it's open, they have people here eating, guaranteed. Give you the fun time experience. They have some great burgers here. And it's just a fun place to eat and hang out. Frog legs are always fresh. Please see the hostess for seating. Yep, see it is busy. But over here, in this case, they have like the uh, footprint that they found that day. And they have lizard man stuff over here. Here's the footprint. My recommended thing here is the Lizard Band Burger. I really like that. It's got pimento, cheese, applewood bacon, house sauce, lettuce, tomato, and pickled onions. That big hairy melt actually looks pretty good. Maybe I'll try that instead. I actually ended up going for something called the All The Way Dog, which is chili, mustard, ketchup, onion, and uh, yeah, I think that's it and uh, some onion rings. They make that sauce here, and that sauce is amazing, and the onion rings are some of the best I've had anywhere. Man, that freaking hot dog is amazing. Oh my God. Yeah, chili, onion, mustard, and ketchup, not bad. All right, thank you, Lizard Man, for a great meal. We're gonna go see the statue and head out to the Button Museum. Yeah, the last time I was through here, they were telling me about the Button Museum. They said it's like world famous, and they go, it may not sound like much, but trust me, go out there and see this. You'll blow your mind, so we're going. Yeah, it's called Harry and Harry 2. Do not sleep on this place. It is fantastic. There's their Piggly Wiggly up there. You don't see those often. Here he is right here across from the Cotton Museum slash Lizard Man Museum. It's a statue to Doc Blanchard. Doc grew up in Bishopville, 
It says the impact of family, sports, and a disciplined military career was the callus of Doc's life. Drafted in 1943, the coach at the United States Military Academy at West Point recruited him to play football. Doc met Glenn Davis at their first practice. The pair was soon to become known as the entire world as Mr. Inside, Mr. Outside. And there it represents his football career. Him as a little boy here in town. And then his military career, as it said over there. And it says underneath, Felix Anthony Doc Blanchard. We point with pride to young Doc Blanchard, one of the greatest names in football. Our hometown boy who met success with modesty. A boy who fit perfectly into the pattern laid down by his dad with memory of your father, with honor to your mother, Doc Blanchard. We salute you. Now let's go see that button museum. It's an interesting little town. Nice plane. So we have to go about 10 minutes outside of town because this was the brainchild kind of of a insomniac Dalton Stevens and this is something he did one night I'm gonna tell you about it when we get there but it became such a passion that it got so big he had to end up getting an airplane hanger to continue it yep there's our sign definitely a place you uh, you got to know about to come to you're not gonna just stumble on it somebody's got to tell you but uh, Unfortunately, Dalton passed away in 2016, but they still make the museum open. You can just let yourself in from what I remember. Now, from what I understand, this started out as him having insomnia one night and he started sewing buttons onto a jacket. Next thing he knew, he was doing it so much he had thousands and thousands of buttons on this jacket. And then he just started attaching buttons to anything he could. Word got around and they started doing like local stories on him and then people wanted to come out and see his collection so then he kept doing it even bigger and bigger and it you know got to a point where he needed a facility like this so even though he's no longer here to show people around they have kept it and you can see here it says no better way to tell this story than in his own words my name is Dalton Stevens and I suffer from insomnia 1983 it got so bad that I got up one night started sewing buttons on a denim suit two years and ten months later I still couldn't sleep and the suit was covered with 16,000 buttons. It weighed 16 pounds <laughs> Things kind of evolved from that starting point after the suit I glued 517 buttons on my shoes when I completed the clothes the guitar and my shoes I went to the newspaper in Sumter, South Carolina then to our local paper, the Lee County Observer in Bishopville. They gave me quite a write-up. Soon after, I went to a television station in Florence and they aired my story too. From there, I was featured on CNN and my story went worldwide. A reporter from Star Magazine visited my home in Cedar Creek and did a story on me. That got me on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I was on shows with David Letterman, Regis and Kathy Lee, Bill Cosby, Geraldo, Charles Corral, Ralph Emery and too many more to mention. I opened the Button Museum in a building near my home. It's filled with unique items covered in buttons. Of course, here's my hearse, a couple of coffins, an entire outhouse, a piano, guitar, and of course what started it all, my suit. Huh. How fun is this going to be? You ready to be overwhelmed? How funny would that have been if I said, oh, it's locked. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. That's, that's all the write-ups over here. He wasn't kidding. Boy, they have, he's really got his due, didn't he? I did know he was on uh, Charles Corral. But the other cool thing that People told me when I was out here before was that they said if you came out, I think it was on 
Friday nights, they have like a music night and people just show up with instruments and start playing in his honor. So here's the denim suit it all started with. My very first project says, there are those glasses we saw in the, <laughs> all the way down to the shoes. He did the speakers and the little monkey holding the lamps. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> And then he did an entire car, has his name on it, says the Button King. Not only did he cover the entire surface of the actual car itself, then it looks like he even got into doing it down here just for the heck of it, you know? <laughs> just to have something to do. Looks like some of them might have fallen off. Or maybe he didn't get a finish. I don't know. Oh, he's got some sort of design on the top over here. And make sure you get to see everything. And he didn't just use the same size buttons either. They're all different. Look, even created patterns over here with them. Yeah, that, my friends, is a hearse. And then over here, he did another car. I know you see it out of the corner of your eye, don't you? You see it, don't you? You want to know, don't you? Is he buried in there? Well, let's find out. I don't know. I don't think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> I really don't think he's buried in here. I don't think they're just have him sitting in here, but it also wouldn't surprise me if that was his request. If he wasn't, uh, if most people was like, hey, put me in there, encase me in glass, put a border of buttons, and make me like VI linen. Here's. All kinds of different button samples of what he would use. And then a mandolin because he was musical. Here he is with his car, one of his guitars. Now we're back over to the, I don't know, is that a rabbit? Something like that. That car that we were seeing on the other side of the hearse, don't worry. We're going to see more of the hearse. I'm just getting it from different angles. This one also, he did. you can see he did the interior with buttons as well. Looks like he's got some jackets in there with extra buttons on it too. Some pair, maybe it's a pair of pants. But then another American flag, real patriotic guy. He's got the arrow and the flag. Was it like a moon landing or something? USA it says. That's cool. And then, yeah, that's the door we came in just to let you know how far we are in. His car says Button King also. Why wouldn't it? All the way down to the hubcaps. This is fantastic. <laughs> that's really cool. I'm sorry, I didn't get to meet this guy in person. He passed away in 2016. That's, I started vlogging in Los Angeles in August of 2016. So I would have missed him anyway, unfortunately. A suit and a hat. Didn't go overboard with either one. Not really. Not as much as you would have probably expected to. The other side of the button car we hadn't seen yet. 
and the back of the hearse <laughs> and it says the final lap I love that that's probably gonna be the cover of our video over here we have a bathtub Look at the faucets. So there's your bathtub. And if you have a bathtub, you need an outhouse. Right? Like on in all of our homes. Here's this public outhouse. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's even his face. This guy's been around buttons so long he's crapping buttons. This is amazing. <laughs> this place is so amazing. Talk about roadside America. Talk about just having a passion for doing things, you know. It's just... Look what he left behind. Something like this people can come see anytime they come through Bishopville, South Carolina. And then he also did a piano. And he's got a bunch of signed photos above it. Let me show you anybody I recognize. Well, I recognize David Letterman. That's a signed photo from Letterman. And then they have one Geraldo. Oh, cool. Charles Corral. Those are all signed, of course. And then Johnny Carson. Here we have Regis and Kathy Lee. Here he is with Telly Savalas, Kojak. Ralph Emery. And tell me that isn't Sherman Hemsley, Mr. Jefferson, George Jefferson. Tell me it's not. He has a guest book, so of course I'm going to sign it. Okay, now we get to see... The other part of the piano. Yeah, he did He did the whole thing. Don't worry. I'm sure the, the back probably is too. Then we have a special suit over here. Looks like something Rick Nielsen would wear for Cheap Trick. But it was probably his. I mean, probably Dalton's. Not Rick Nielsen's, but Rick Nielsen could pull it off. Definitely. Guitar. Then there's a case over here showing that he's in the Guinness Book of World Records and they put him in Wild Wheels with his car. That's awesome. He's also in Ripley's. <laughs> Trademark registration for the Button King. Don't try and steal it. Yeah, I heard when he was alive, he used to sell his CDs. You could buy his music. And guess what the theme of the music was? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People ceremoniously leave buttons, but um, I'm not going to lie. I didn't have any spare buttons. I mean, I didn't have any buttons at all, period. So he'll have to know that I wish I would. Man, what a cool place. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. I loved it. Man, Dalton, what a legacy to leave behind. Thank you, SD1106 and Cindy Cates for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you somewhere else tomorrow. We have many more places to go and things to see. Thank you for watching. From Bishopville, South Carolina, goodbye.